Hey, what's going on? Thanks for having me, Kim. Thanks doing, for coming man? on. How are you feeling? Are you good? Oh, man, I'm doing much better. Oh, that's much great. Better. Good to hear. Yes, yes, man. I've lost a lot of weight. Lost, uh, what, 30 pounds since uh, my heart attack on July 10th. That's uh, amazing. Uh, good for you. Yeah. I didn't think you were a big guy to begin with, honestly. Oh, man, I was push. I was like two cheeseburgers away from like 300 pounds. I was a big boy. Yeah. Wow. Well, good for you. Like, I mean, I, I started taking my health seriously a couple years back and, you know, it comes and goes like the way, like I have never gained any weight back, but like your body will plateau off at a certain weight. And it, it's like, that's where I'm stuck at. And it's like, what the hell do I have to do <laughs> to, uh, exactly. Exactly. You know. I've, I've plateaued right now at, at 260. As I'm waiting for, I got a doctor's appointment with the uh, car cardiologist in a few weeks. Yeah. Uh, once I get a, a clearance, yep. so I could do some like you know, more cardio and whatever. I think that I'll drop more pounds. 100%. Yep. <laughs> Every time I say that. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a little rut myself right now. I, I just keep walking. I keep walking. And, uh, you know, I, I don't need as much carbs or sugar. So it's working. It's just I'm in a little. I call it ruts. You fall in these little ruts. I've lost, yeah, I call it like a plateau. I've lost like 70 pounds, at like major sizes, okay? Like major, major difference. But I just can't, like, I just want to lose maybe 20 pounds more. And I just, like, I don't know what the hell I got to do to do it. Like, I mean, yeah, can, and I'm can, very active in the summer. I do like swimming, everything outdoors. Like, I mean, everything. I just don't know what the heck is the last 20 and I won't go. Well, I know what, what I did was I, I cut all the sugar stuff, the Coca Cola, all of that yep. stuff is gone. Um, I, I eat chicken breast, fish at dinner, uh, a couple uh, uh, boiled eggs in the morning. Yeah, um, no carbs. No, yeah, yeah. So th that's what I've been doing I, since my heart attack. I've only had maybe uh, a couple, a uh, couple apple juices, but everything is water. Yep. Yeah. Everything is water. Yeah. It, it scared me straight. Like I'm scared to, 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 to like I'm oh, looking yeah. at the box. I'm looking at everything. Like man, yep. so, you're not even very old either, are you? Yeah. No, no I'm 43. Oh my god. Yeah, that ain't no joke. Forget it. Yeah, and it, it caught me off guard. And the one that one uh, morning, I woke up and I'm like, "Holy, holy crap, man!" I'm like, "Oh, what the hell is this?" And I'm stubborn about the ambulance. If I would have not have called, the, if my right. girlfriend would have not have called the the ambulance, man, it, yeah. it would have been really, really, really bad. Well, yeah, I agree. I agree. My um, uh, my ex, my ex wife, she one time she said. She, she mentioned an ambulance and my blood pressure went even higher oh yeah <laughs> so i understand what you're saying you know okay yeah and uh it was uh, it my was, cholesterol was was uh, through the uh, roof and i've been studying this, yeah. this the heart attacks it, it says it's worse for women because women it doesn't really hit them i think they start having shoulder pains and and like they don't have they don't have the symptoms like a guy has yeah it's so different yeah, the women have different as far as the heart attacks. Do you have any heart issues in your family that run in your family at all? Uh, my father passed away of a heart attack. So. Oh. But he was he was in his seventies, you know. Well, I've had like ten people die since June twenty sixth. And some of them are heart attacks, some of them are different, you know. So what's going on that all these young people are dying now? Hmm. So not eating right, not taking well, care of themselves. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that could be it as well, yeah. Listen, we were in a pandemic. We were trapped in home. We, 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 we had to like order out all the time. Or, or one person could go to the market and you'd be lucky if there was stuff there. Oh, yeah. You know? that, that's where I messed up, Chris. Yeah, the pan Oh, man, eating out yeah. and stuff, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I gained at least 30 pounds just from that. And then at least 20 from being married. So forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah. In my opinion, younger. they should yeah. never have, even outdoor parks and stuff, like that's just not necessary. Like you stop people from exercising like that's part of your physical and mental health you know what i mean like i just yeah. My i don't know killing me before now it's kind of going away from walking a lot i dropped a lot of weight so i'm just gonna keep doing hey slow and steady wins the race right that's the way it goes if you lose well, it fast i'm a firm believer and it's going to come back on you got to change everything and don't even look at it as a diet just say like i'm taking better care of my health and you'll be successful and we all have all three of us have so that's great like yay woo just gonna keep going yep. hey chris i love the show that you did with mre i think it was called automobiles <laughs> that that show was awesome because 
I mean, you guys were on there because you're childhood friends, and you were you were taking me back about you know hanging out at two o'clock in the morning, playing video games, and all of this stuff, yeah, and talking yeah. about school. That yep. that show was so cool, man. That you yeah. did, yeah, because we did it, we lived it. So you know, why can't you just speak about it? I always, uh, you know, it's just you can't tell you can't tell people's names. You know, that's, that's the yeah. thing. You know? But uh, yeah, man, it's like but freaking. It, it, it was great. It was great because you can almost like when you're telling the stories, you almost can imagine it, you know. Yeah. Oh my God, forget it. Back in the day. Was that that really long stream? I've tried to watch it, but I haven't been able to finish it. It was like four oh, or five I really hours. Loved it. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know. I want to do another one. It's just the timing's been bad lately on the weekends because, uh, well, you know, the last couple of weekends uh, I was doing stuff for my daughter and uh, she was sick uh, one weekend, so I was like, she was up. I, I couldn't do a live. There was no way. <laughs> but uh, we'll do another one. What happened? There's no sound. What do you mean there's no sound? Can you hear oh, me now? No, it was just very quiet. Yeah. Well, I was letting you talk. Oh, I, can, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go find my cane shades now. <laughs> I got them somewhere. Cane shades? Did I send you a pair of cane shades? I know no, I, sent I got a pair oh. and I had them before I, I, uh, before I ever met you. I got them like a month or two before, right? My, yeah. well, my, well, my daughter was wearing them. She come, she come in the house. I'm like, oh, I like those. Those are cool. Well, what I did a few she years back, when, what I did a few years back when I had my Miami Hurricanes show, I actually made, like, I, I ordered a bunch of, like, maybe I ordered 500 of those orange plastic glasses, and then I set the cane sheets on it. And what I would do is I'd pass them out at the games when I was go to hurricane games. I'd pass them out and stuff. So I still, oh. to be honest with you, I still have like thirty of them in. If you want one, I'll send you. So. It's actually the glasses I'm wearing right here in the avatar. Fuck! I wish I could see my phone. Sucks. It's so mm -hmm. small. But yeah, send one to the igloos in Canada. I'll represent. Okay. <laughs> yeah, these That's don't say. These don't say key cheats on them. They say something else. I don't know what they say. But anyways, they just they were in the car. Well, there, there's awesome. actually. There's actually three cane shades. There's my nephew, and then there's Bo. There was yeah, three. Yeah, Unk, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm cane shades Unk. There's yeah, cane yeah. shades Bo and cane shades J. So all us three had a a show called Cane Shades. And then when I started going into this crazy, <laughs> look at the cane shades. <laughs> oh, look at them. Oh man. The island and profile. Right? Yeah. So so when I started coming into this genre, I just used the name Cane Shades, and yeah. uh, and it just stuck. Those, those mundos yeah. de la banda. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I couldn't we, believe that when you when you, you were, when you when you said you you were on that co the commercial there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh my god, I remember commercial. Watching, yeah, when, when I was a kid. Oh, it's my... very famous. I had a uh, best friend uh, from back in the day. It was like that too. He was on like a CBS commercial with Christmas yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It, it, it was on the. I was on Telemundo. There was a, uh, oh. a yeah. It was a lady who sold uh, shampoo. And um, I was in a couple of the commercials, and my line was "Yo soy un chico Murta," and I did the thing because I had long hair, and I, I did the thing with my hair, whatever. Yeah. And I didn't even know what I was doing. I, I know that I, I know when I came back to the neighborhood, all the kids were telling me about the commercial, and they were like making fun of me, and like "Oh chico Murta," and then then I realized <laughs> oh, I was oh, holy shit, I was on TV. Like I didn't even know what I was doing. Well, you were, right? you, you, yeah. you know, young. You know? so, yeah, I was like, I think from '84 to '86. That's when I when I was doing those commercials. Really? Yeah. They were on the Spanish network on Telemundo. Hey, that's cool. Yeah. I would love to get that footage. That would be good. I know my Don't grandmother. No, oh, my wow. grandmother had it on, on a on a tape VHS. on a VH, VHS, yeah. but I'd have to go to Is uh, there on the, Google, do you think? No, I really looked the only thing I found is I went to that lady's website that she had passed away. That was the lady who was selling the shampoo, and I did find a picture of me on that website. Like they had like you know all the kids that the, the that year I think eighty five and I was actually uh, on that thing. So. Eighty five, I think it was what? I think it was nine years old or something. Oh yeah, you're way older than me. Eighty five. Yeah. Way older. Those were the days. <laughs> that that's when times were good. Oh yeah. And we didn't even know it. We just thought we were having fun and making memories. Oh, we were so innocent. Right. <laughs> Oh. You know, I, I finally just started watching that show. You're gonna laugh. It's been out for a while, I think. 
uh, Stranger Things. But I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. I got what show? <laughs> Stranger Things. It's like a oh. Netflix. I never got into that Stranger Things. I Me just, neither. I think I, I watched I, a couple I, episodes and I'm like, no. So I just went and I just watched it from like the first one. And, I, and uh, <clears throat> it was interesting. So. <clears throat> but it was like based back in the, you know, back in the, in the 80s? 80s and the yeah. 90s and stuff. Yeah. later episodes yep uh yeah david uh, yeah the bodega returns uh not this not tomorrow well not today but uh next friday friday the 13th i'm coming back it yeah. next week's friday the 13th yeah next week is friday the 13th. oh, oh get i gotta, I gotta yeah. get my mask out <laughs> well make sure you send us the link i want to be there Okay, yeah. Awesome. Isn't a bodega a friggin' store? That's what Trump told me. Am I wrong? Well, yeah, it's more than it's just a store because it's it, it's a small deli. That you could get all kinds of paper goods. You know, like if you need toilet paper. You know, it depends. Well, Kane Shades, you 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 explain. It. Well, they don't have no bodegas in Miami. How I came up with that name is uh. I had called out an informant, and then the informant was making fun of me, like uh, that fat guy that looks like he works at a bodega. And I said, "Oh, I said, wow!" And I was doing shows with Lee, and uh, when it was time for me to leave Lee, I told Lee, "You know what? I'm gonna start my own little bodega." And then I said, "Oh, that'd be a good name for a show, the Bodega." Right. So that's that's awesome. it. Yeah, it's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear you're doing better, feeling good. It's good to yeah. hear you. I know everybody was worried about you and. Yeah, that sucks. Like it really scares the the god India. You know what I mean? When you're that young, and it's like, whoa. Yeah, it, it was a, a scary moment. I'll, I'll talk more about it uh, on the bodega. But I, yeah, I, I want I want to give a shout out to everyone uh, that was uh, supporting me. A lot of people wrote me, and um, especially MRE. I mean, he had my back when I was in the hospital with this other mess that was going on. And, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I appreciate it. all the support, man. I'm very grateful. So. Well, not that I should probably bring this up, but I was on a certain someone's show last week and he popped on and it was like, I was trying really hard to keep my temper under control because I can go really ghetto and I don't want to do that because I was trying to prove a point that it's like, you can have a disagreement with somebody, but still not be ignorant. And believe me, it took every bit of restraint that I had. Um, but it's like, because he was saying one thing and it's like, okay, maybe that's the way you see it. But MRE was protecting his buddy Kane Shades. And... Um, I respect that because I'm the same type of person. I'm loyal. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody's never made me question their integrity or their loyalty or their friendship, I've got their back 100. And that's no matter what anybody exactly. says or does or tries to do, I'm going to stick with my friend because that's the way that I grew up and I still have those beliefs. Yeah, definitely. And so, when, it, you know, when you see that quality in somebody else, you appreciate that, right? Definitely, definitely. I mean, I'm, there's a lot of good people on here and there's a lot of oddballs on here. And yeah. I, and I'm I'm happy I'm surround myself uh, here on the internet with good people, you know. Well, that's just it. That's what we were just saying. Like just before you joined, it was like you know, yes, there is a lot of drama and bullshit. I'm not into the drama at all, and I try to stay as far away from it as I can. Yeah. However, having said that, I've met a lot of great people out here, and if it weren't for this platform, I wouldn't have crossed paths with them. You know what I mean? And I, I'm grateful for that. You know, yeah. so it's great. Well, Kim and Chris, thanks for having me on. Uh, Chris, uh, next Friday, Kim, next Friday, if you guys want to come, come, come and join, it'll be uh, awesome. You betcha! Yeah, thanks for coming on. Fun. This was awesome. I'm so glad yeah. you came on. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, all right. Have yeah. a great night. Me we'll too. All right, God bless. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right.